Good to have you as well. I'll rack the uh, one turbo SSD in this thing now. That's better, I've got plenty of space now. Oh, I forgot to hide that one. <laughs> yeah, you get that system reserve partition which you don't need when you clone a disk. I've got to hide that. That's not necessary. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, I'll fix it up in disk management later. Right. And I've got plenty of room for Steam games now. And ADATA. Not available in Australia, this particular one. At the time, anyway. Can only get it. There's only um, cheaper in Taiwan, so I got it. Ordered it from Taiwan. It's cheaper to buy it over there than it is to buy it here, so. It's almost half the. Just. Oh, just on half the price of what it would have cost to buy it here. But it's funny how they, um, most of these are uh, the uh, King, Kingston and ADATA a SSDs. The temperature alert, the temperature is never right on them. Yeah. And all it says, that's not the true temperature, so whatever the um, firmware these uh, quality high end SSDs use. They've got to get their temperature calibration right. That's no one what it is. Temperature, 27 degrees. So what's telling me it's 100? It must just be a bug with these drives. <laughs> Kingston drives do that too, in my experience. Someone on my sister's computer does the exact same thing. Yeah, something odd there. Anyway. I'm going to get this hard drive freed up. I've got plenty of movies here which I've got on other hard drives, so I could probably delete all these. I've got another hard drive with all these movies on them, so... So I'm going to free up space in that drive and get that drive ready for another set of movies. Yeah. Friend just, uh a heap of stuff we wanted to share. It started talking about YouTube videos and that. And I started talking about how to do computers and he likes writing code as well. He does a little, done a little bit of um, code writing. And he's got these uh, stuff here he wanted to show me so well. The other thing you like, just copy it for yourself. So, okay, fair enough. About, about half a terabyte there and one and three quarter terabyte there and one and three quarter terabyte there. So for my own personal use, those ones. So I've got to free up space in that drive to fit one more of that hard drive there. It's two terabytes Seagate as well, so yeah. <laughs> got to free up some space. As I said, what's on that one there, currently at the moment, I've got everything backed up anyway, so I just did that evident in this one for convenience. What have I got here? There we go, all my current videos are on here now. Beautiful. I had a bit of a problem with this computer. I couldn't get the picture, the, the on-screen wouldn't work, the GPE wasn't working. So, what's going on with this bloody thingy? Have a closer look. I found this was, wasn't plugged all the way in. I must have bumped it or something when I put the other hard drive in it before, oddly. I clicked it all the way in and it was fine. How about today, went to turn it on, and I couldn't get the um, screen, no video signal. What the hell is going on here? Had to play around with it. So the side opened it up when I was getting the charge over it. And yeah, I noticed we've got a, bold, a blown cap on this GPU. Here we are. She's gone bang. I like the colour scheme of this GPU. GeForce 9600 9, GT. Pretty uh, low end nowadays, but this thing was good when it came out. This would do some good crisis gaming on this bad boy. This thing was good when the crisis came out. That's about the time when I bought this, when the first crisis came out. I might be able to fix it to surface mount cap though. That's going to be a challenge. Although, it doesn't actually... Oh, no, no, it's not. No. That's oh, a three hole component. Oh, good. It's a surface mount cap. You have like a black thing in the bottom with uh, pads soldered on it. 
on, a, on a little pads on the um, single side board. But these are not actually a surface mount looking closely. These ones, yeah, they, these ones are. These are surface mount, but that one that's gone bang. That's a three hole capacitor. Beautiful, I can replace that one. So you can look carefully at the bottoms of them, because these look exactly the same as that one there that's blown. But that one that's blown, it's just a, a three hole capacitor. It looks like a um, surface mount capacitor. So that's actually a three hole. So I can replace that one easily. Oh, good. I might be able to repair this. Hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. it hasn't taken any of the power away or down or damaged anything on this GPU. Might be able to revive this. Alright. Well, that'll be another day when I get some time. I'll get some uh, get the cap stash out and replace it. I wonder what the value it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, well I can still read it anyway. I just gotta cut the bottom getting the tools out at the moment. I get this uh tackle it another day. Anyway. Because I heard a bit of, um, it would work boot fine, and I heard this thing, a little bit of a squealing, like it was under the immense load on one of the rails. So, hang on, something's wrong here. Have a good look in there. Nothing wrong with the power supply, the power supply's fine. So, yeah, this one here. I hope it hasn't, oh, if this is stuffed, well, I've got a, um, a spare 8800 GT to put in it, but I still hope I can fix this one. I like the colour scheme of this one, even though the 8800 GT benchmarks better than this one, even when it first came out. It was a better GPU than this uh, 9600 GT. But uh, hopefully uh, I might be able to repair that one. Anyway, now oh, I'll get this steam library off it. I haven't played this bloody thing in ages. Yeah, I've got a fair bit to go yet. <laughs> anyway, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.